guys, welcome back to my channel. And thank you if you are coming back for a repeated time and it's not your first time and if it's your first time, welcome. So it's the week of Christmas right now and so what does that mean? We're already thinking about New Year's. What are we gonna do for our makeup? So I was thinking I would do a little something um, if I were going out this year, which I'm not, but um, this is how I would like to do my makeup if I was gonna be going out this year. Always like to accentuate the eyes I feel like on New Year's um, because the lips need to be kiss proof and drink proof. So I have done this makeup where you have a lot of drama on the eyes, a little bit of sparkle in here. I didn't do sparkly lids because I feel like everybody does that, so I do it my way, which is usually a little bit of something in there. So that's what I've done for you guys. And um, that's about it. We won't need to talk too much because we all know what New Year's Eve makeup is about. It's about looking good and feeling good, getting ready for the New Year so then you can make a New Year's resolution to look better the year after. So I don't know if that's gonna happen for me, hopefully. We'll see. Again, thank you for coming back. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you at the end of the video. If you make it there, you're gonna make it there. You're gonna watch the whole thing. You're gonna watch it a few times. So if this isn't your first time watching me, you know that generally I prefer to start doing my makeup with skin. But it's good to switch things up sometimes, so today I'm starting with eyes. And I'm sure you're saying, no you're not, you're starting with concealer. But I'm only putting concealer underneath my eyes so I don't have to mess up the bomb shadow that I'm going to smudge underneath them because I always do that. So just put a little concealer under there and now it's time for the eyeshadow bases. I'm using Bakery and Rhea Cream Shadows from Nabla. First the neutral base on the eyelid. Bakery and then underneath I'm using the purpley one this one here Rhea because I'm gonna be doing purple shadow underneath there So why not put a purple base just to get the party started early and make sure that everything stays on all night long Now I'm putting Galactic mechanical eyeliner pencil in my waterline and in the tight line And this is just gonna make the look a little bit more sultry now when doing an eye like this or really in general I do like to put the liner before doing shadow that way whenever I go to put the shadow underneath the eye like I'm doing here you're actually smudging that eyeliner out of the waterline down into the eyeshadow so you're not only making it deeper and more sultry, but also you're making it more of a continuous black line underneath your eye. And any eyeshadow that you put underneath your eyes is just going to show up more intensely. As you can see, I've started applying some shadow, so I did pick up my Sigma Nightlife palette, and that's the palette I'm going to be using for the whole eye look. First I started with that purple color underneath the eye and now I'm just adding this pretty slate gray color on top on the lid. And you'll see that I am pulling out onto the side of the eye too on top as if I'm creating a wing with the eyeshadow. Because obviously I'm going to be creating a wing liner with this and I want the whole eyeshadow to go with that shape so I'm just basically shaping that out now with the gray. And picked up a bigger blending brush now and I'm just going to be going along the edges of that gray color with a more brown transition color to blend. Now I've picked up the Sigma E62 Cut Crease Brush and I'm using the black shadow here along the water, not the water line, that is not the water line, along the lash line, basically to create the effect that I already have an eyeliner there, but really it's just a bit of black shadow. Now it's time to jazz this up a bit, make it more New Year's Eve with some glitter. So I'm popping stellar glitter on the inner V of my eye, which you'll see is like a pretty pinky purple color. And then I'm going to clean up the wing shadow that I created. So this, I'm using the Sigma F61 brush with the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. Basically, I'm sort of erasing and smudging and realigning those lines. Now I'm going back in with a little bit of the first concealer that I used and the Beauty Blender once again. And now it's time to get down with skin. So I am going to be using MAC Face and Body Foundation as usual. And I'm going to be applying this with my hands like I did in my last video. So I'm rubbing it together with my hands. And the more that you emulsify this in your hands, the more you rub it together, you'll literally feel it get thicker. This does make it a little bit easier to apply as well as giving you more coverage. Once I've applied that all over my face, I'm just going to blend it out now with the Beauty Blender, as usual. And then it's time to highlight and contour. So for my highlight, I'm going to be using what I've been using for the past two weeks straight, the Grace Star Powder from Gerard and my favorite fan brush. But for contouring, I'm going to do something I've actually never done before. I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette, the Nightlife palette, for my contour. So I'm using the F06 brush from Sigma. 
and this color here just lightly patting into the eyeshadow with the brush that way I don't get too much on the brush and then I can start to chisel out my cheekbones. Now I'm picking up my bigger favorite cheek brush, the 127 from Zoeva, and I'm taking that warmer color right on top, sort of like a bronzer. And again, if you've seen my videos, I'm sure you could guess that I was going to use this blush, pet name from Sigma, my absolute favorite. It's just a light peachy color that you can never go wrong with. Now just finishing up my face with a little bit of MAC Mineral Life Skin Finish. And then it's time for the showstopper of this look, my absolute favorite thing ever, obviously the Inner V color. This is Inglot 59 Pigment. It's like an iridescent, white, frosty purple. So on top of that beautiful pink glitter that I already did, it just adds that extra brightness and luminosity. Look at my husband coming in giving me a kiss. So obviously once you have popped that onto your eye and brightened up your life, it's time for some liner. So I'm just using the Girlactic, uh, what is this, the Precise Liner Marker. And I'm going creating that fierce wing liner that's going to make my mat feel more special. As you can see, I first start by putting the liner on my eyelids and then I go out and create these wings. So I am making these a little bit larger than like your everyday kind of wing liner that you would go for, but obviously it's New Year's, you have to be way more fierce than usual. Gotta start the New Year's off right, do you not? And I don't know about you, but I can't think of a better way to do that than with some fierce ass winged eyeliner that goes all the way out to your hairline. Uh-uh, it doesn't exist. Alright, so now that we have this crisp, beautiful liner, I'm using that same cut crease brush from Sigma, and now popping the black eyeshadow right along the edge of the winged liner. This is just going to make it look a little bit more smoked out and less crisp and intense. Now just brushing my brows to set them because I didn't do it before, and putting some mascara on just to prep my lashes for the fabulous fake lashes I'm going to be putting on. Obviously you have to wear lashes, it's New Year's. So this is a new brand that I'm trying out. They're called Designer Lashes UK and the, the style is Ari. And I have to say that I was quite impressed with them. The band was not uncomfortable, the lashes were super wispy, super gorgeous. And I think that they gave my look just that extra little pep that it needed just to feel a little bit more special. After we get these lashes on, obviously you have to put some lips on. And since I went with so much intensity on my eyes, I'm going to even out the look by doing a nude. So I'm going in with my favorite nude lip pencil. This is NYX Nude Truffle. And I am going to be going around my lip line and then also filling in the outer edges of my lips. That way when I go in with my super, super duper, super, super, super nude lipstick, this one here, the Velvet Matte in Marshmallow Meringue from LA Splash. As you can see, it's much lighter than the lip pencil, so since I filled in the edges of my lips, it's easier to blend. I do have a discount code that I've included here for LA Splash as well, if you guys are interested in trying out any of their lips. Or they have other things too, but I think they're more famous for their liquid lipsticks, and they do definitely stand forever, which is one reason I chose this lip for this look for New Year's. Because as I said, the lip needs to withstand kisses and drinks, so this lip here will not go anywhere. I would like to finish it off with a little bit of a gloss after I'm done checking myself out. So I'm going to use Sigma Hint Lip Gloss. This gloss is very sheer, but it does have a tint very similar to the color that I had on already, so it's basically just giving me a bit of shine. But if you want to make your lips more nude, here's option number two, which instead of the sheer gloss with the similar tint to what I had on, I'm adding something that's much more light and nude, so this will just lighten up those lips lightly for you if you're into that real, real nude look. So this is the finished look. As you guys saw in the beginning of the video, um, basically just had a good old time getting some drama on and now we're ready to go out slash stay on the couch slash take it off. I hope you guys have a great New Year's and be safe. Have fun, get wild, don't get wild, whatever you want, do it. See you guys in 2017.